Welcome to the University of Tennessee virtually. We're so excited that you're with us today and excited to tell you a little bit more about our application and application process. My name is Logan Kerr. I'm one of the admissions counselors here at the university and I'm so excited to get started. We're gonna go right ahead. We have our application opening August 1st. That means that it's open now. So go ahead whenever you're ready and go to our website, apply.utk.edu. We have two applications that you can choose between either our UTK application that can be found at govals.utk.edu or the Common App. We have no preference which one that you submit. Just choose one and run with it. Both of them are located on this website that you see right here. I will also let you know just as a heads up, if you are hanging out with me today and you are a transfer student, stop right where you are and go to our transfer website instead because this session is very specific to my incoming freshmen or first year students. And our transfer website is transfer.utk.edu. But if you are a first year student or an incoming freshman student you are in the right place and I'm excited to tell you more. Like I mentioned earlier we have two applications that you can choose between as you'll notice at govals.utk.edu or the Common App. Now as a part of submitting that application there is a $50 application fee and that fee can be waived if you're on free or reduced lunch or if you have an extenuating circumstance we do offer a fee waiver request form. Now after you submit that application and the application fee you are going to be required to complete something called the self-reported academic record or what we call SAR. That is in lieu of you sending us those high school transcripts. We do not want those high school transcripts until after you graduate from high school and only if you've confirmed your attendance to the University of Tennessee. So hold on to those transcripts until your final high school transcript after graduation. Instead, you're going to do the self-reported academic record, which is where you're going to self-report all of the classes that you've taken throughout high school, all the grades you received in those classes. You then list your senior year classes as in progress and then the final step is to upload a copy, a picture, a screenshot even of your unofficial high school transcript or your academic history. Now we need that SAR as soon as possible and we're going to email you the steps of exactly how to do it and lucky for you it comes with videos. So it's going to walk you through that process and make that SAR super easy for you to do. As a part of the application, we do require one essay, but don't let it trip you up. We're not looking for anything crazy. We're just trying to get to know you a little bit more. And we give you seven prompts to choose from, both on our application and the Common App. So take your time, make sure you proofread it, and then when you're good and ready, add that to your application. We also are requiring standardized test scores for our fall 2023 entry. So you are going to have to submit those ACT or SAT scores, but the good news is we are a super score school. So we're gonna create a new composite with the highest of each individual subtest. So take it a bunch of times. It's never gonna hurt you to take it. It's only gonna help you. Now over here on the side, you see optional items. I'm gonna say from my best advice is they're non-optional. We are a holistic review school, so we actually evaluate and take into consideration everything that you include in your application. So if you want to make sure that your application is as competitive as possible, make sure that you utilize those optional items, such as our letters of recommendation. And then the supporting statement is a free open writing space for you to tell us anything else that you feel we should know about you when making that admissions decision. Maybe something that you weren't able to share with us in your previous essay, but they are optional but between you and me, I'm gonna say non-optional. So as a part of that self-reported academic record, you may be thinking, why can I not just send you a transcript? Well, because we don't actually take your high school GPA. We create a new GPA called the UT Core Weighted GPA, where we only take into consideration these 16 units from your core subjects that you see up here. Now, these are not requirements for admission. So if you're looking at that and thinking, oh no, I don't have one of these, that's totally okay. These are not requirements for admission. We're going to take whatever amount of these units that you have when calculating your specific GPA. And if you have more than the number of units that we're looking for, we're going to take your best grades, not necessarily your most recent. And if your high school grants weight to honors AP, IB, Cambridge, or dual enrollment, we will as well. Now, you can see that there's some information about that on the bottom of the slide. Another way to think of it is if you get an A in an honors class, that's a 4.0, we're going to weight that as a 4.5. An A in an AP or a dual enrollment class, also a 4.0, but we're going to weight it as a 5.0. 
We will utilize your senior year grades if you'd like us to. Simply log back into that self-reported academic record after those grades are final, change your SAR, and then shoot us an email and we'll make sure that we recalculate your GPA. Because this is what we use for financial aid, scholarships, and admissions purposes. So it's pretty important. Now, as a part of our application, we have to mention our competitive scholarships as well as our honors and scholars programs, because in order for full consideration for both competitive scholarships and our honors and scholars programs, you have to hit our early action application deadline of November 1st. Now, that brings up our application deadlines, which are November 1st for that early action application deadline, as I mentioned, but then there also is December 15th, which is our regular admission application deadline. I want you to have full consideration for all of those competitive scholarships and our honors and scholars programs. So I really want you to hit that November 1st early action deadline. It's non-binding, doesn't lock you into coming to the University of Tennessee. Obviously we want you to come to the University of Tennessee, but you're not bound to it just because you apply by November 1st. Instead, you're gonna be eligible for 100% of those competitive scholarships, which are scholarships awarded by alumni and donors and your program of study, department of study, county of residency, high school that you attended, extracurricular engagement, community service, it's a lot and we really don't want you to miss out on that opportunity. So apply by November 1st, make sure that you have your SAR completed on time, and then you will be in full consideration. Now, in regards to our Honors and Scholars programs here at the University of Tennessee, we have four of them. If you are at all interested in being considered for our Honors and Scholars programs, you must hit that early action application deadline of November 1st. If you meet the academic requirements for admission into our Honors and Scholars programs, they will email you an essay prompt. You have until November 22nd to get that response in, as well as all of the requirements for the application. If you are at all interested in Honors and Scholars, please check out their website, honors.utk.com. Edu does a beautiful job of detailing each of the four programs and things like curriculum, requirements for admissions, expectations, benefits of participating. So make sure that you check out their website. But the big thing to remember is November 1st is that early action application deadline and you don't want to miss it. Now let's wrap this party up with some important dates and deadlines. The FAFSA opens October 1st, and that's the free application for federal student aid. It's required annually for any in-state student that would like to receive the HOPE Scholarship, aka all of you. And then any student that's interested in any form of federal grant, scholarship, student loan, or any need-based aid must also submit the FAFSA annually. I mentioned it opens October 1st. I implore you to knock it out early. A lot of federal grants are first come first serve and it can be a bear to complete so you'll be grateful to have it off of your to-do list. Now I mentioned earlier those two application deadlines November 1st and December 15th. I want you to hit that November 1st deadline so that you are eligible for all scholarships at the University of Tennessee and if I haven't convinced you that November 1st is the way to go our decision release dates will do it. If you apply by November 1st, you're going to receive your admissions decision mid-December. And if you apply by our regular admission application deadline of December 15th, you're going to be receiving your admissions decision in February. We all know that we want our admissions decision sooner rather than later, so apply by November 1st and you won't have to wait too long because you'll be getting your decision mid-December. The last date that I'm going to mention is May 1st, and that's our confirmation deadline. That is the last day for you to decide whether or not you officially want to join our volunteer family and call the University of Tennessee home for your college career. The only reason I mention that date is because you have tons of time between now and then to do whatever it is you need to do to make your college decision. We encourage you to come and visit us on campus. We would be honored to have you come on a campus tour and have conversations with our students and staff, and we hope that we get to see you on Rocky Top soon. Lastly, we have a couple of more important dates to cover. I mentioned our early action application deadline of November 1st, but in order to receive a decision in mid-December, you must complete your self-reported academic record by November 15th. So we give you two additional weeks after that application deadline to complete that self-reported academic record. Go ahead and knock it out quickly so that we can begin that review process. Now our regular application completion deadline is going to be January 6th. So in order to receive a decision by mid-February, you need to apply for admission by December 15th, but have your self-reported academic record in by January 6th. Our official document deadline to have everything to us is July 1st. So make sure that you turn in your official documents by July 1st, such as your final high school transcript, your verified test scores, things like that. We got to have it all by July 1st. 
And that's all that we have for you today, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and learning a little bit more about our application and application process. That application is open. So what are you waiting for? Go on to apply.utk.edu and then come and visit us on campus while you're at it too. We'd love to have you. Thanks again for hanging out with us today. And as always, go Vols.